I can see people to my left and right, just barely within my peripheral vision, shadows lunging and lurching and leaping and lingering about, the darkness of the shadows of the shadow of the edge of my vision's scape, which is only a shadow of my mind and the sides of my eyes of the darkness, of the bounds of the edge of my brows, and it's mine. Yes, it is mine, you see? Or a sea of minds, lines, landscape of eyebrows and time, yes. Burrows with boundaries of signs, of hedges and bushes and names of lines and lines and lines, delineating the darkness of the shadow of the shadow of my mind, the eyes of the size of the edges of the sides that surround my eyes. Really, it's just my vision scheme. And all of these lines are chaos and everything and everyone is jumping around the room. And some of them are crashing into me and pummeling me. And as the pain within me, upon me, increases, my sense of self diminishes into the lines like the lightning that pierces my mind, scraping shards of shadows of sharp light until I can no longer feel the barrage of fists and boots and my body for a split second becomes numb. The dark clouds close in, the black ring circling and circling, encircling my brain, until there remains nothing left to close in on, nothing left to feel but pain, the pain that becomes numbness until nothing. And I am an amorphous blob, sinking into the carpet on the floor, melting into a puddle of flesh, or melting, I become a puddle of flesh, not saying that there was a puddle of flesh that I was melting into, I melted into, meaning became eventually a puddle of flesh, that is how I felt, could barely feel. The minions of darkness eventually dispersed, leaving bastard's body prone and bloody and bruised and broken in a pool of his own blood presumably dead. When he woke up, circles later, it took him a few circumferences to locate his arms and legs. He felt like a bundle of sticks haphazardly thrown into a body bag. Exerting the last remnants of his energy and will, he managed to pull himself together and dragged himself up off the ground. For a moment, he considered returning to the floor. He felt like going back down there, it looked good. But he managed to convince his legs to do their fucking job and keep him standing. He won the argument, even managing to walk over to what looked like a couch, where he sat himself down to get his bearings and figure out what he was to do next. Luckily, it was a couch, and it was comfortable, very comfortable. He exhaled deeply and wandered back down the road down to where unconsciousness had laid out some nice, clean, soft, new sheepskin silk sheets. Yeah.